It is me. TGIF, it's Friday, and I have Aaron Wisby Martin. Did I say your last name right? Yes, you did. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to move the microphone. I didn't tell you that. We were sitting here chit chatting about stuff. And uh, you are from the Regional Medical Center and also Images Spa. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about the Images Spa today. Uh-huh. That's correct. Great. Um, so the Images Spa, it's kind of, is it an, it's a newer thing that the hospital has it's done, right? It's pretty new. It's been around probably two years, I think. And initially it was started by Dr. Foster Olson. Mm-hmm. And so she got um, a lot of the medications and equipment and supplies that we use. But then um, she moved and the hospital asked me to take it over because it's just something that I really enjoy doing. And um, so, yeah, I've been doing the spa and in charge of it for maybe four months now. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun and I love it. Awesome. So let's talk about what the spa is. I mean, it's when I, okay. So when I hear (laughs) spa, I think like, you think like lavender massages, uh steam rooms, rooms, I walk in and I get a bathrobe and then I am at the spa all day and Uh being worked on. So the differentiation between a regular spa and a medical spa Mm -hmm. is that there is a physician in charge. So that's me. Mm -hmm. And so we do the standard spa things that you think of. So massages, we have our massage therapists, um, come over from the, where they work at the hospital with physical therapy, which is Mm -hmm. actually just the next building over. So they come into our lovely room with aromatherapy and everything and give you a beautiful massage like Mm -hmm. you would get at a spa. Mm -hmm. We also do facials. Um, Our esthetician, Angela McKibben, who is... So by the way, you said Angela and I didn't, but I know Angela. Angela, she is from here. She's been here forever. Everyone knows her. Yeah, I just clicked about us and I was like, oh... It's Angela McKibben. <laughs> Angela McKibben, okay. who's yes. fantastic. So, yes, and lovely she's, lady. She's been an esthetician for a long time, used to do hair, knows everything about um, beauty, skin care, mm-hmm. hair. Um, so she does a lot of our facials. She does nails, and she knows everything about um, all of the skin care products that we sell. So she's an incredible resource at the spa. Mm-hmm. And then she's there all the time. Well, most of the time. Um, And then I come in and do the procedures, and that's what differentiates um, a medical spa from just a regular regular spa. spa. Right. So um, you are going to have a doc talk next Thursday, Yes. right? Yeah. Is that right? No, Tuesday. Tuesday. Sorry. Yeah. I wrote that down wrong on my paper. (laughs) Next Tuesday. So this coming Tuesday from 6 to 7 at the library, Mm -hmm. and it's going to be about... Botox and chemical peels. Yeah, it's going to be about, I'm going to talk kind of about what aesthetic medicine is, which is the branch of medicine that all of this stuff falls under. And um, we're going to focus on the things that are most commonly requested at the Mm -hmm. spot, which are chemical Mm -hmm. peels, Botox, and also facial fillers. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing um, actual demonstrations of them because most people are afraid. They think Mm -hmm. that they're scary and painful. And so we're going to um, show everyone that that's really not the case. Um, And I laughed when, before we went on air and I said, wait, so you're going to be doing Botox on somebody live? And she said, yes. And I said, well, I guess that person can't lie that they're not getting Botox anymore. <laughs> Everybody's going to see it. Everybody's going to see it. And so we have all different sorts of people that come to the spa, people that don't want anybody to know that they're mm-hmm. getting stuff done. And that's great. We won't say a word. And then there are people that are like, oh, yeah, this is great. I want a little touch up here, a little bit of, you know, this is sagging over here. Or, you mm-hmm. know, I've got this spot on my face that, you know, I got from my 20s being out in the sun too sure. much or using a tanning bed. Yep. And so we will keep it a secret or you can tell all your friends that you come. But you're not going <laughs> to say one. anything. Oh, I will right, never no. say anything. Um, so let's talk about Botox because there's not, I mean, usually when people think Botox, they think plastic surgery, yeah. people looking fake. Right. And yeah. Shana has a story about someone. I'm not going to say their name, but she will <laughs> tell you that when she was mad, she was like, I'm mad. I promise I'm mad. But you couldn't tell. You couldn't tell because her move. forehead didn't right. move. And so... I do not. You, you, yes, Botox can accomplish that sort of plastic fake look mm-hmm. like you see on TV with the Kardashians, how they look totally right. not like a real person. Um, <laughs> however, and, it, you know, I have asked people, 
people have asked me to do that to them and uh-huh. I have talked them out of it uh-huh. because I don't want anybody walking around town looking crazy and then telling <gasps> everyone that I did that. <laughs> so I talk well, that people, is smart. Yeah. yeah I talk point. people out of that. And so the look that we try to promote and that most people want is just a kind of a youthful rested smooth look. Smooth. Just look. Yeah, yeah. smooth. Mm-hmm. Like you're not angry. Mm-hmm. So the most common thing that people come in and ask for is the line yes, in between the eyebrows to the brows, line in between the eyebrows. eyebrows. So yeah. like the mom frown, like, mm-hmm. oh, why are you doing that type of a look? And man, if you smooth that out, you mm-hmm. just look so just peaceful, calm, <laughs> happy, like you're not angry at the world uh-huh. and it does amazing things. And no one can tell that you've had anything done. You just look good. Yeah. And that line it, especially if I think if you're out in the sun a lot, oh, man, can get squinting, really it gets deep. really prominent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so obviously, there's that use for uh-huh. Botox, and not just the eyebrows, right? You no. can do so, people do the laugh line, or do is that so that's more filler, that's right? Filler. So mm-hmm. we do Botox. Um, most people want it around that eye between your eyebrow line, mm-hmm. line, um, forehead wrinkles. So mm-hmm. the wrinkles that you get when you raise your eyebrows, crow's feet, so mm. the big ones that you get when sure. you smile on the side. Or smoker's lines is what people usually call them. So Around the, the lips. lines. Yeah, mm-hmm. when you like make a kissy face, those lines. So that's a lot of Botox. Um, and then fillers, we do that for people who are starting to get that crease as they're between their nose and their lips when you make a smile where mm-hmm. your cheeks are. Or um, to make your lips more plump if they've kind of lost volume over time or just thin upper lip. Mm-hmm. Um, fillers are actually also useful for some scar revision. So I have a friend that has a scar right by her nose and it actually affects the way that she smiles. She can't on the side that it is. And she's had it since she was like three or something. And she lives out in Portland, but she's, Uh she's getting filler in there right now to try to break up the scar tissue so that when she smiles, it doesn't look like she's sneering Uh, because one side smiles more than the other and it looks like she's smirking the whole time. Yeah. And big scars can be very disfiguring. And, you know, sometimes fillers are, are really useful in that. And we Mm -hmm. actually have a lot of other techniques also that we can use to help with scars. There are some scars you can't do much about, but others we can really make a big difference in Mm -hmm. minimizing the appearance so that it's less disfiguring to Mm -hmm. people. And that can really impact your self-esteem a lot. Sure, Mm -hmm. sure. It's your face. I mean, that's what people see first. Um, Let's go back to Botox real quick because I want to talk about, uh, you guys also do Botox for migraines. That's another use for it. Yeah. And it is, um, I think it's really a very valuable use of the medication. Um, The thing that differentiates um, Botox for migraines versus cosmetic Botox is probably the number of injections mm. and the volume of the medication that we give. For migraines, we, it's it's quite a lot of injections mm-hmm. and it's a large volume. So the medication is really expensive. Botox is expensive. So therefore, treating migraines is really expensive. So mm-hmm. insurance, you have to really work hard to get your insurance to cover it. Sure. But in those patients that have severe migraines where you're getting like 15 migraines a month, so almost Mm -hmm. every other day, Mm -hmm. debilitating pain, and you have tried and failed all the medications that your doctor can think of, yeah, Mm -hmm. come in for a consult. And if you meet the criteria, we can try to get your insurance to authorize it. Mm -hmm. And it's wonderful. We have So how does that work? Like where do you inject it in the in the head? You inject it in the head. So some of the injections are in your face, so kind of forehead mm-hmm. around your eyes, and then there are actually a lot of injections in your scalp underneath mm-hmm. your hair. Um and we focus on certain muscle groups. Mm. And those and it's all been very scientifically um studied by the American Association of Neurologists and um so they specify exactly where the injections are supposed to go. And so um, we focus on the muscles that can either cause tension, which Mm -hmm. can make a migraine worse, Mm -hmm. or even potentially cause the migraine. And it really offsets not all of the migraines, but a significant Mm -hmm. percentage of them. Or probably helps even reduce the severity of them. It does. It dramatically reduces the severity of them. And how long does that normally last? Like how long does a, a session of Botox normally last? Um, so Botox works in your body for three months. Mm. So to get the injections done, um, for a migraine patient, it takes me usually uh, 20, 30 minutes to Mm -hmm. do all of the pokes Mm -hmm. versus all of the pokes. pokes. It's a lot of pokes. (laughs) It's 31 pokes. Um, and then sometimes we'll add, I'll 
I'll kind of tailor it specifically for if a patient has, you know, more pain in one specific area, I'll mm-hmm. give them a little bit extra in that specific area. But in general, the baseline is 31 pokes versus cosmetic Botox is, you know, however many areas you want to right, do. It could right. be like And how, three, how strong you want it to be. And, yeah. yeah. How, mm-hmm. how paralyzed you want your face to look. Which I was going to say, Botox is short for botulism. Botulism right? toxin. <laughs> and so botulinum toxin is the active ingredient in the Botox. Mm-hmm. And there are three brands in the U.S. of botulinum. So there's Botox, there's Dysport, and there's Zeomin. Oh, so Botox is a brand name. Botox is a brand mm-hmm. name. And that happens to be the brand name that we get at the hospital. Mm-hmm. But there are, you know, two others. They are, um, you know, they all do similar things. They're just marketed differently. Sure. And um, Botox is the most pure of the three, and you have to inject the smallest volume. Mm. So it's the one that I prefer to mm-hmm. use. Um, so, But it's just up to the physician which one they prefer to right. use, basically. Cool. Uh, I had to take a quick break, and I thought maybe we could jump over to chemical peels. Fantastic. After I'm done. Okay, It'll wonderful. be a short one. Tillamook Regional Medical Center's monthly club CHIP Complete Health Improvement Program is the third Monday of the month at 630 in the lower level of the Vintage Health Church. This month's club CHIP is about nutrition and willpower. You'll learn about foods rich in nutrients that decrease anxiety and improve mood, how to decrease cravings and increase satiety. Is that how you say it? Satiety? You say, I don't know. Say it. Say it. Say it. What are you trying to say? This word right here. <laughs> oh, People are totally satiety. laughing. Satiety. Yeah. Yeah. How are totally full laughing. you are. That's mm-hmm. what it means. And how healthier gut bacteria affect your behavior. There's no charge for this informative program. You can re- uh, RSVP at 815-2270. I'm not good with that word. <laughs> it's hard to say. It is. And it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't pronounce like the no, way that you think no, it looks it like. Uh, we're talking with Aaron Wispy Martin from Images Medical Spa over at the Regional Medical Center, right? Is it? It is. It's on the west yeah. side. It's in the plaza. It's no. It's on the opposite side of the plaza. It's over where physical therapy and <clears throat> occupational medicine. There are those little modular buildings. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. And the spa is one of those. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, and so you are having a doc talk on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, the 24th from yes. six to seven at the library. It is free and open to everyone. I assume there will be refreshments because there usually I always sure hope are. hope so because I like to snack. So I know. <laughs> there better be. <laughs> I was telling someone once, um, if you need to meet with me and you bring food, I will be there. <laughs> I That's heard there were snacks. I will me. be there. <laughs> yeah. My nurses know that that is the one way to get me to do my paperwork is to give me some snacks. <laughs> <laughs> give me a snack and I'm all set. Uh, so we talked a little bit about Botox, which is going to be one of the topics um, mm-hmm. in your doc talk. And chemical peels are the other thing. So let's talk about those and what the uses of those are. Yeah. So chemical peels are really a wonderful thing that I wasn't very familiar with until probably about two years ago. And, um, this all started because I'm no longer 21. (laughs) However, (laughs) in my twenties, I laid out in the sun way too much. Mm -hmm. And so as anyone, any woman, especially who has done that notices over time, you start to see evidence of the Mm -hmm. misdeeds that you did in your youth, such as fine lines, sunspots, little freckles that you didn't used to have that Mm -hmm. are really annoying. And then if you add to that, having some babies, often the pigment um, Mm. in your skin further changes. Mm -hmm. Um, So chemical peels address all of those things. They address pigment, fine lines, wrinkles, acne, rosacea, sagging skin. Wow. They are amazing. And I do them actually on myself. And since I have started doing them over... Probably the last six months. You have decent skin. Thank you very yeah. much. My my skin has um, really changed, and I notice incredibly positive benefits from mm-hmm. them. So I really think that they're um, quite wonderful things. They mm-hmm. can do a lot for your skin. So it's a uh, – is it just a – I don't want to say a lotion, but is it something you put on your face, or is there a machine involved? There's not a machine involved. It's done by people. So they're pretty caustic agents. So Mm -hmm. these have to be done by a licensed professional. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that we have can only be done by a physician. So I do those. Those are the deeper peels. Um, We don't often do those. Um, I'd like to focus more on the superficial epidermal layer Mm -hmm. of the skin rather than Super you know, deep, getting like doing five deep, layers. Because yeah. if you go deep into the dermis, it's very painful and um, there's a longer recovery. And mm-hmm. most people honestly don't need that. Mm-hmm. So just doing superficial peels 
focusing on the epidermal layer, there's minimal downtime. So it's called a peel because literally that's your what skin you, peels you peel. Off. So mm-hmm. you kind of have a little bit of a snake look for eh, maybe three days or so. I was going to ask that. What's the... Yeah, the downtime. Mm-hmm. So with a peel, you come in to the spa and you have a consultation with me. And then Angela, the esthetician, she is the one that usually does the peel unless it's one of the deeper peels that I would need to do personally. So um, there are multiple layers of things that we put on your face mm-hmm. and there's some tingling involved sure. and it's a little like sting associated, but nothing like A burn, for instance, if you're taking some cookies out of the oven and you burn your Mm -hmm. arm on the cookie Mm -hmm. sheet, nothing like that. This is very minimal. It goes away. We put a bunch of layers of stuff on you that are um, kind of complicated. Things like botanicals, vitamins. There's botanicals. And and, um, those are the more touchy-feely things. And then there are some acids mixed Mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we put some nice stuff on at the end so that your face... Um, feels lovely. Feels smooth. <laughs> it is stinging and tight, so it's not a facial. Mm-hmm. Facials, you leave the spa feeling, oh, my skin feels so soft and moisturized. moisturized right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, as a peel, you leave the spa feeling like your skin is a little tight, mm-hmm. a little bit warm, and looks a little bit pink. Mm-hmm. Um, so you don't want to have big dinner plans um, <laughs> or a special occasion like family pictures or right. a big work meeting for the next few days, because there are going to be a couple of days where you're not looking your best. So when you leave the spa, your skin looks a little pink. The next day, a little pink, a little tight. The day after that, so day two or three, that's when you'll start to peel a mm-hmm. little bit. And so literally, your skin will peel starting kind of around your like nose a sunburn, and your mouth. It like a sunburn, it peels off. A little bit more than like yeah, a sunburn. Yeah. And again, this is not... So sunburn, the peel associated with that is dangerous. Mm-hmm. That's caused by ultraviolet radiation. Mm-hmm. That causes skin cancer, right. badness. Right. Um, and so that surface layer of cells, those were killed and there was damage done to mm-hmm. them. The difference in a peel is that, yes, those surface layer cells are being removed, but the benefits of the agents that we put on actually go to the deeper layer. Hmm. They go into the dermis and into the reticular layer, Mm -hmm. and that stimulates positive changes in certain cells called fibroblasts. And those are the cells that make collagen. And collagen is one of the one of the products of youth. Right. So as we age, our collagen, you lose collagen, it gets, right? It gets sad and saggy. Yeah. So <laughs> the peel, it dries out. It, yeah, it just kind of shrivels up. So the peel is what helps it to plump and regenerate and grow mm-hmm. new collagen. Makes your skin more firm, more supple, more vibrant, and it also takes off that surface layer of old epidermal cells that mm-hmm. are just sluffy and you know rough. Mm-hmm. Um, and then. On about day seven-ish, you are left with beautiful skin. Mm -hmm. And how often do you recommend people do that? So the best results really are not with just a single peel. The Mm -hmm. best results are if you do a series of peels. So, I mean, starting with three peels is really great, two or three, and you can do them every four to six weeks. Um, That's kind of the interval. Mm -hmm. That's the soonest you can do them. You can space them out further if you want. Yeah. And then do you have to continue to get them or do you, I mean, is it like, is there a maintenance upkeep like once a year or a couple there, times I a mean, year? I mean, your skin will look the best if you do get one every now and then, mm-hmm. but you will see positive changes after just doing a series. So for instance, the little sunspots or freckles, mm-hmm. it will significantly fade that, like that specific spot that you've been really worried about. Right. Um, and then if you wear sunscreen, if you use appropriate products, mm-hmm. antioxidants, um, and we can recommend some specific things that specific spot will stay gone. However, if you continue to expose your skin right. to sun, right. um, do all those things. Oh, you didn't turn dream. your phone that off. So poor it's okay. Him. I don't know it's that they can hear it online. The <laughs> I don't think they can hear it on the air. <laughs> I'm a novice. <laughs> anyway, but it is really good to, um, Continue to wear sunscreen. Continue it's, to wear sunscreen. Well, you should wear sunscreen. Listen, people, I wear sunscreen every day and I every have since I was 19 and no. I still get carded at the grocery store and I'm definitely not even close to 21. Oh. So your purse looks like my purse. <sighs> it's a nightmare. It's because I have kids. She just pulled out like 15 <laughs> could, things to get to I her phone. I could live for a year off of what's <laughs> in my purse. <laughs> Build a raft. <laughs> so uh, chemical peels and they range in price-ish. From... We, we actually standardized the prices. So that's mm-hmm. one thing that I did when I took over the spa is I cut all of the prices down dramatically mm-hmm. and I made everything much more simple because, you know, in Telemuc, we are 
you know. We don't have a lot of disposable income. We don't have a lot of disposable income. Mm -hmm. And so I want to make things um, accessible accessible for everybody. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, the prices are just very standardized. So Botox, we cut our prices to $9 a unit, which Mm -hmm. is super cheap if you go to Portland. It's usually... 12 to 14 Mm -hmm. bucks a unit. Um, And then our chemical peels, I cut the prices to just $100 flat. And we will do um, whatever you need, basically, with that $100. So if you need a light peel, that's great. If you need a stronger peel with a booster, we do it all for the same same price. That's awesome. And so I'll evaluate your skin and see what your skin needs, and we'll have a conversation about what your mm-hmm. goals are mm-hmm. um, and set realistic expectations. So it's not going to make a 45-year-old woman who smokes look like she did when she was 19, mm-hmm. but it can make dramatic changes. Well, and dramatic changes that will help going forward, exactly. right? Going forward. And then obviously you guys give yeah. uh, recommendations on how to treat your skin care yeah. going yeah. forward. Yeah, And we also um, sell <clears throat> nicer stuff than you can buy um, at the drugstore, mm-hmm. at the fancy department stores, mm-hmm. um, that's medical grade skincare. So that really has made a difference too in a lot of people's yeah. skin. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take another quick break. I think it's funny that we're talking about all this kind of foo-foo stuff and now I'm doing a Rosenberg's ad. <laughs> where do you go to find almost anything you need for home improvement? I'll tell you where Rosenberg's Rosenberg's has been your local connection for anything you need to build and finish your house to perfection. Carpet, cabinets, paint, electrical, plumbing, nuts and bolts, fencing, windows, doors, and so much more. All those items in one place, but that's only part of the story. What really makes Rosenberg's your stop for home improvement is their people. Their knowledgeable, friendly staff is there to help you through any project. Any question from what paint you should use to how to install a new shower valve, you can get the help you need to do it right the first time. Stop by Rosenberg's today to rediscover what you've known all along. It's better to shop local and work with great people you can see every day. Build it, plumb it, wire it, paint it. Rosenberg Builder Supply, Tillamook. So um, we have like two minutes left. Awesome. We, I know. I, this went really fast. <laughs> Let's really quickly talk about all the other th- – we kind of mentioned it in the yeah. beginning, but I have your list up on your website. Yeah. The other stuff we do um... – <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry. We're talking uh, with Aaron Wisby-Martin from Images Medical Spa yes. at Adventist Health. Okay, yes. go ahead. Um, so one of the other big things we do are – well, we talked about facial fillers a lot, mm-hmm. a, a, well, a little bit, um, the chemical peel, the Botox. Mm-hmm. And then Angela, our esthetician, she does um, a lot of the other stuff. So facials, nails. Waxing. Waxing. So like eyebrows. She does um, legs, upper lips, um, whatever you need wax, she can basically do. And if you don't know, you can get – oh, real quick. You can get your underarm. You can get your armpit waxed. Yeah. I had a friend, I had uh-huh. a friend that does that. Mm-hmm. Not here. She lives in San Diego. Um, and you cannot, and you said you've never done it, but if you have like an excessive sweating problem, you can use Botox to treat that. You can. Mm -hmm. And so if, if somebody wants that, I can definitely do it. I have never been asked to do it, but it's, it's for sure easy to do. So yeah, excessive sweating and armpits or hands, that's something you can do. Yeah. Um, Let's so see. anyway, wa- she does waxing. Waxing. And she does dermaplaning. Um, dermaplaning. And so what dermaplaning is, it's using a fine blade to remove the, it's called vellus hair. So that kind of peach, peach fuzz. fuzzy. Mm-hmm. Some people will have a lot of peach fuzz that really bothers them. Mm-hmm. On um, their face. On their face. Mm-hmm. And so we can remove that. And we, we also do services for men too. So the Rosenberg ad, it actually will apply. <laughs> um, you know, we have a lot of hunters and fishermen and they come in and... Um, you know, yeah. do a little little bit for them too. And they don't have to tell anybody. Uh, about it. What's the difference between a facial and a facial mask? Facial masks are just kind of a little bit of an oomphed up facial. Mm. So um, masks will do things. We do that Is that a lot like leaving it acne. on and letting it dry? A type little of thing. bit. So that's what people think about masks that you mm-hmm. do at home. The right. stuff that we do at the spa is, um, you know, these are medical grade products. And so they're stronger than that. So they actually will make changes. So again, it's not so much of a touchy feely thing at that mm-hmm. point. It's more um, delivering a medication to your skin. Gotcha. So those are really useful. We do those a lot on teenagers with acne. Oh. So mm-hmm. a lot of kids, especially kids that play sports at Tillamook High, mm-hmm. you know, they get all sweaty and grubby during sure. the day and teenagers, you know, may or may not take a shower Mm -hmm. and so um you know acne becomes a real problem and Mm -hmm. so we see a lot of those kids and Mm. do a lot of acne interesting so on the whole acne thing um we also do accutane so Mm -hmm. people with severe cystic acne we prescribe that as well oh wow awesome Mm -hmm. lots of cool stuff going on over there uh if you would like to make a consultation i believe your number is 815-2410 
I think it's, it is. It's and what's can, on the website. <laughs> and you can also just call the main hospital number True. and ask for this spa. And if you, if anything we talked about sounds interesting and you want to get more information, go listen to her doc talk on Tuesday, the 24th, which is this coming Tuesday from six to seven at the library. She'll be talking about Botox and chemical peels. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey, thanks for coming in. This was fun. Yeah, I know. It was fun. Yeah. Monday, uh, Senator Betsy Johnson will be on the line. Don't forget Senior Meals, 1130 at St. Mary's by the Sea in Rockaway Beach every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also noon every weekday at the Cuyahwanda Community Center in Pacific City, as well as the Tillamook Senior Center at 4th and Stillwell. Cost is $3 for seniors and $6.75 for everyone else. The Master Gardeners are having their annual Spade and Wade Garden Tour tomorrow. Participating gardens will be open from 10 to 4. This year, the tour consists of six distinctive and beautiful gardens situated in Tillamook, South Prairie, and Cape Mears. The tour is self-guided, and passports for the tour can be purchased at the OSU Extension Office, the Tillamook County Pioneer Museum, and Hidden Acres Greenhouse. Tomorrow is the fourth annual silent ride coordinated by the Combat Vets Association. Motorcyclists from Tillamook who want to join this ride are meeting at the Shell Station at third and pacific at seven o'clock tomorrow morning and the 4-h horse fair is this weekend tomorrow and sunday starting around 9 30 in the morning the events are free and open to the public they note that it's easiest to enter the arena off of brookfield road from the backside of the fairgrounds and this weekend tapa's musical review it's broadway baby and more continues with shows friday and saturday at seven and sunday at tune audiences are loving this one uh enjoy tunes from your favorite broadway shows and Dory Days is this weekend in Pacific City with a parade tomorrow at 11 and festivities all weekend long. Don't forget about our farmer's markets, Manzanita, Friday, well, today, I guess, from 5 to 8, Tillamook tomorrow from 9 to 2, Nesco Inn Saturday from 9 to 1, and Pacific City Sunday 10 to 2 at the South County Library. The Garibaldi's Farmer's Market is on hold for the rest of the year, but we'll be back next year bigger and better with a seafood market. Erin, thanks again for coming in this morning. My pleasure. Yeah, and thank you, Tillamook, for listening.